Oh, you joke. takes that girl so long from school, she's slower than a three-legged turtle. <laughs> Starting! Well, she ain't here soon, I'll send the hand fetch her. You think it's coming for sure, Henry? I don't like the looks of Scott at all, Emma. There's a close feeling in the air, all right. I don't like it at all, Emma. <sighs> Drag that girl. Starting! Here you, Joe. Oh man, hike that little piece and see what's told Dorothy. Sharp sure thing, Mr. Gale. And move. I think we're gonna get a twister. A twister, Mr. Gale? Yup. Well, what do you know? Well, don't just stand there, don't get it. Yes, sir, Mr. Gale. Hold it a minute, you Joe. I think I see her. Dorothy! No, ma'am. That's her, the critter. Come on, cold molasses. Joe? I think rescue on the I don't like that sky. Let's keep. I'm getting this in Hello, MM. Where you been, miss? No place. I came right home from school. And how'd you come? Way out to Pika? I came right home, and I'm on it. And that flowers just grew in your hand, I suppose. They're for Uncle Henry. Tomorrow's his birthday. Aren't they pretty? No. Karen, we've been wearing half the deck where you were, and you're out picking flowers? Then it only took a jiffy to get these, Aunt Em. Hmm. What else do you do? Nothing. Nothing? Except maybe look in the creek for a jiffy. In Wade, were you, miss? No. I just like to sit on the bank and look inside. Inside of what? The creek. A creek ain't got any sides. It's only got a bottom, and there ain't nothing to see but stones and fish swimming around. Is that all you see in the creek, Aunt Em? It's all any Christian can see, Dorothy. But didn't you ever look quick at a fish and think first off it was a mermaid, baby? Dorothy! Well, I have lots of time. That ain't right, Dorothy. Why? If the good Lord had wanted us to see mermaids swimming in our cow pasture, he'd have put them there himself. But didn't you ever pretend things, Nan Em? Like, maybe a cloud wasn't a cloud, but a great big palace or something. Why, well, just this afternoon when I was laying in the field while Right I... home from school, eh? But it's so nice out, Nan Em. Nice? Your Uncle Henry's worried half to death. There's gonna be a twister. But Uncle Henry's always worried about something. Yesterday it was the mortgage, and the day before that it was inflation. When you grow up, you'll worry too. About inflation? I wouldn't doubt it. Not me, Anna. When I get big, I'm just not gonna worry about anything. That's a good trick, only how you gonna do it? I'll go someplace where people don't believe in worry. And where's that at? I don't know exactly, but someday I'll find it. Well. I hope you do, child. I'll put these flowers in some water for your Uncle Henry. But remember, no going away in case that twister comes. I won't. Hello, you, Joe. Hello. Joe, what are your figures over the rainbow? Huh? The Rain rainbow, Joe. It must go someplace, someplace wonderful. <laughs> I never get much thought, Dorothy.
But how do you know it killed the wicked witch? I saw it. It cracked a right square on the head. Oh. If you don't believe me, look. There's the witch's feet sticking out underneath. It's the broken slippers, all right, ma'am. She must be dead. <laughs> What's the matter? Whoever owns that blind house must be very powerful indeed. Another witch, perhaps. So until we know if that stranger is good or bad, we'd better be careful. How are we going to find out? Knock on the door and ask. Spoken like a true musket, Mayor. Well, go ahead. We'll wait. Me? The house is on your property. But it is yours, not to welcome strangers. You're the mayor. I know. We'll send a committee. The rest of you go. Yeah. As mayor, you've got to go first. Then we'll all go together. Forward, men! I know the stranger's name! RFD2! Let's hope that's a good name. Why, it's a girl. See, she's asleep in there. She looks harmless. Looks me nothing in a witch. Go, go ahead, may or not. It seems a shame to wake her. You're not afraid of a girl, are you? <coughs> I'll show you who's afraid.
not to verify, it's legally to see, to see. If, she if she is morally, ethically, spiritually, spiritually physically, positively, absolutely, undeniably, and reliably dead.
The Munchkins will show you the road you must take, Dorothy. Goodbye. Thank you, Glinda. Oh, yes. And remember, should you ever need me, just close your eyes and call for me three times. Yes, Linda. Goodbye. <laughs> Put you on the right road. Say, is it far? It's a many days journey. Wait one minute for me then. I want to get my toothbrush. Dorothy? Yes, I'm going to ask the Great Oz to send me back to Kansas. Do you think? 
think that this great Oz could give me a brain? It couldn't hurt to ask him. Well, do you mind if I go with you, Dorothy? Of course not, Scarecrow. If you don't mind going all that way just to ask for a brain. A brain? Huh? If I only had a brain. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching. If I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. My head all the stuffing, my heart all the pain. And perhaps I'd deserve you, I mean, worthy of you, if I only had a brain. Oh, thank you. That's much better. Goodness, what was the 
trouble. Well, I rusted, that's all. I was out chopping and I got caught in the rain. Now, if you oiled my arms, I could put this axe down. Oh, certainly. Oh, I've been holding that axe up for ages, it seems. His right elbow still squeaks a bit, Dorothy. Oh, never mind that now. Could you fix my legs, please? And you're really alive? Certainly, my dear. Is that so surprising? Well, in Kansas it would be. Well, even in Oz it is unique, my dear. So far as I know, the tinsmith only made one like me before he went away. If you don't mind me saying so, I think he did a pretty wonderful job. Yeah, well, there's only one thing wrong with me. <laughs> What's that? Listen. I haven't got a heart. <laughs> the tinsmith forgot to give me one. Oh, don't cry. I'm sorry, but <laughs> could you please give me? <laughs> you want my handkerchief? No, the oil can. I'm rusting again. <laughs> Feel better now? There's only one thing I need to be the happiest tin man alive. What? A heart. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal. And yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding the love and all. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy that shoots the arrows if I only had a ball.
behind my back. I fight just standing on one foot. I fight you with my eyes closed. Pull an axe on me, will ya? Sneak up on me, eh? You're here, Lion. Why don't you go away and leave us alone? in that tin can, you shivering junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> your heart on that path? If I had a heart. Well, if you're sure you won't be ashamed to be seen with such a coward. Of course not. Oh, 
suppose you tell me who you are and what you're doing here. My name is Dorothy Gale, and I'm from Kansas. Uh, and this is my friend, the Scarecrow. And this is the Tin Woodsman. And this is the Cowardly Lion. And we've come to see the Great Wizard of Oz. You all must be very brave. Huh? Why brave? To dare to see the Great Oz. But he's a good wizard, isn't he? Yes, Dorothy, he is good and he is just. But he's the most powerful wizard in the whole world. And if you bother him with some foolish request, he might destroy you. Like that. <laughs> Come on, Dorothy, let's go. Wait, we can. But you heard him. Just try us like. Snap your fingers, Scarecrow, show her. No good. How's that? That's what the wizard might do to us. Snap, and we're gone. I don't care. Oh. I'm gonna ask the wizard to send it back to Kansas. Oh, and I'm gonna ask him for a brain, and I for a heart. And I'll wait right here. You won't. You'll ask for courage. Oh, now, Dorothy. Now, it won't be any trouble for the wizard to give you courage. Yeah, he can do it just like that. Hey, don't do that, will ya? We don't care what happens, sir. We'd like to see the great Oz. I shall inform him, while I'm gone, my daughter Gloria will see to your comfort. You three guests, come with me. Would you like to see the palace? Oh yes, very much. We'll see it presently. We're so happy to have you all with us. That's one thing I noticed here in the Emerald City. Everyone seems very happy. And why shouldn't we be? Yeah. 
Suppose she kills us first. Then it won't matter whether you get your purse or not. Metro. 
My axe. I got your axe. But you took it just now. I took it. pulls my tail, and he says he didn't. Then he says I took his axe. What would I want with your <laughs> 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 oh. yeah, bro. do you see what I see? I don't see anything. That's just it. We want to see the tin man. Oh, I want to go home. <laughs> well, where was he? He was right over there. Well, show me exactly. OK. Come with me, I don't like to go alone. Come on, give me a hand. <laughs> he was right here. Scarecrow, you need fresh stuffing. This straw has sticks in it. Oh! <laughs> and now, my dear, we'll have the second part of the charm. You leave me alone! Now, now, it won't hurt a bit. It's just a big kettle of water with some powder in it. The cauldron? Nothing to be afraid of, my dear. The water isn't hot. But what will it do to me? If it works, my dear, you'll shrink. That's all. Shrink? Yes. Let's try something and see. Here's that foolish tin man, that Where's he now? He's being looked after. Now let's just put the axe in here and see what happens. <laughs> Look, it works beautifully. See? And I'll get small like that? But don't worry, dear. You won't stay like that. Watch. It gets smaller and smaller. And smaller and smaller. And now it's gone. That's right, dear. And that's what will happen to me. Now if you'll just climb in here like a good girl, my dear. I won't. I won't. Then I'll have you put in. Help! Come back here, you little beast. Help! We heard the bell. Where's Tibia? Looking after the prisoners. He sent us here. They're all right. Oh, they're fine. <laughs> How long have you three been haunting here? We go with the leaves. What's the matter with the one on the end? He always does that. He, uh, died of too much air conditioning. Come and give me a hand with this little brat. Get her, boys! Oh, no, you don't. Hey, fellas, I can't move. <laughs> Thought you fooled me, eh? So there's nothing I can do to hurt you, eh? Watch this, Scarecrow.
had a heart, it would be fairly clanging in my chest by now. It would, I'm so proud. Do you realize that people have come from all over Oz just to be at this party the wizard's giving in our honor? Yes, I know. What a heart the wizard must have. But Tin Man, when is he going to see us? Oh, you can't rush a wizard, Dorothy. But we've been back a week now. Yeah, but think of the great time we've been having. A dinner tonight, a banquet last night, the night before we even... But that doesn't give you your heart. That doesn't get me back to Kansas. Well, don't get upset, my dear. It's bad for your heart. I wish the wizard would hurry up and give me my courage so as I can get up to nerve to ask one of the girls to dance. <laughs> oh, don't cry, my dear. There, there, Dorothy. Now then, what's the trouble? I want to go home. Oh, Dorothy, the wizard's going to send you home. But when? Well, any time now. How do I know that? He gave us his word. Then why won't he see us? You know how wizards are, Dorothy. He doesn't have any right to keep us waiting around like this. But it probably just slipped his mind. I don't care. We killed his old witch for him, didn't we? Ah. Now what's the trouble with you? I'm getting hot under the collar. Dorothy's right. The wizard's got no right to do this. What am I, a lion or a mouse? There ain't no wizard in the world that I'm gonna let make Dorothy cry. I agree. Oh, so do I. Now let's think what can be done about it. There's no time for thinking. What we want is action. Hey, George! Yes, sir. Get in there and tell the great Oz that we want to see him, and we want to see him now. <laughs> tell the great Oz that? And furthermore, you can add that if he don't see us, I'll personally tear him limb from limb. Stop me! Oh my gosh, what am I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> oh, why don't I keep my big mouth shut? I'm so proud of you, Ryan. We all are friends. And personally, I'd rather never have a heart than to see Dorothy as upset as this. Oh, those are my thoughts exactly. You're so kind. It's just that. We don't want to see you cry. But when you're so kind, I want to cry more than ever. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. <laughs>
thank you so much. Who are you? Well, I am Oz the Great and I guess I'm not so terrible anymore. Aren't you a great wizard? Shh! Not so loud. You'll ruin me around here. Oh, say, ah! Well, you're nothing but a humbug. A good for nothing humbug. Oh, no. I'm a first grade humbug, even if I am a bad wizard. How did they ever come to think you were a wizard? Well, it's quite a story, you see. I was with a tent show back in Omaha. Omaha? That's my Kansas. So it is. Well, anyway, I was a magician with the show. Humbug stuff, of course, like in all this in the real world. But I was pretty good. Watch. Look at magic. No, no, no. Just no illusion, my friend. But I still don't see how being a tent show magician got you to Oz. I'm coming to that, my dear. Not only was I a magician, but before the show, in order to attract a crowd, I made a balloon ascension. Yes. Well, one day the rope got twisted and I couldn't get down. I went way up beyond the clouds, and heaven knows how long I took. I know it was at least a day and a night, and I finally went to sleep. When I woke up, my balloon was just coming into the Emerald City. Seeing me come out of the clouds like that, the good people of Oz naturally thought I was something out of the ordinary. And I must say I did nothing to dissuade them, and that tie became Oz, the great and terrible. And they made you ruler over them? Exactly! And a good and just ruler I've been. Which is why I say it will be such a shame if they find out. Oh, we don't want to snitch on you. All we want is what you promised us. I've got just the thing. You mean courage, for instance. Well, you don't need courage, Lion, because you have it. All you need is some visible manifestation so everyone else knows you. Back in my country, when imagination put a metal on I have just the thing. Wear this metal line, and in the future, don't ever feel cowardly. Feel the metal instead. Gee, thanks! Courage. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? Hey, what about my heart? Yes, Tim, man. A man's heart is measured by what he has done for his fellow man. But a man has an exceedingly great heart. They give him a testimonial of some kind as a token of their esteem. You, may I present to you this watch as a symbol of your exceeding large heartedness. Thank you. But what about my friend? Yes, Scarecrow. Back in my country, there are great institutions that devote themselves to nothing but developing brains. They call them colleges there. And when they say a man is brains enough, they give him one of these. Now, for the authority invested in me by the institution Oz College or what have you, I now present to you this doctor of degree of scarecrows. Oh, thank you! Now, how do I get back to Kansas? Oh, that is something else again, my dear. Can't you do anything? There's just one thing left to do. What's that? I'll take you back to Kansas myself. I've had a longing to see Omaha lately. But how will we go? Just as we came, through the air. Lord Crowley, assemble the court. <laughs> Friends, I go now to return Dorothy to the land from which she has come. That done, I shall go on and visit my brother wizards in the sky. But great eyes, will you ever return to us? Who knows? But while I am gone, I shall leave my throne to the Scarecrow, to whom I have just given the most unusual brains in all of Oz. <laughs> and as his assistants, the Tin Man, by virtue of his heart, and the Lion, by virtue of his courage. Shall we go now, Dorothy? Bye! 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 But Dorothy, you forgot your shoes! Oh, wait a minute. Hurry up. Hold on. Dorothy, I can smell this thing. Bye!
want you to go. That's very kind of you. But this could never be like Kansas. And I must have stopped wondering what happened to me by now. <laughs> oh, Scarecrow, what am I going to do? <laughs> well, here's someone who can help. than my own backyard, because if it isn't there, then I never really lost it to begin with. Is that it? That's all it is. Why, that's so easy. I should have thought of it myself. I should have felt it in my heart. No, she had to find it out for herself. Those ruby slippers will take you home in seconds. Oh, that's too wonderful to be true. But, but it's going to be hard to say goodbye. I love all of you, too. Why is in there? Oh, don't cry. You must so badly. Here's your oil can. Now I know I have a heart. Because it's breaking. Bye, Lion. No, I know it isn't right. But I'm going to miss the way you used to holler before you got your courage. I never would have got it if it weren't for you, Dorothy. I think I'm going to miss you most of all. Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. Then close your eyes. And click your heels together three times. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. 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 Yeah. 
address. 8917.